I'm so excited uh, that you are inspiring all of our young people. The story that I think is important for us who are educators to know is the story of persevering and accomplishing goals and dreaming big. Uh, in the South, you know, I think in North Carolina, and often, I don't know if Coach Taylor knows this, but two things I remember before I left the South. They used to say, um, before you came to South Carolina, I really ready for Coach Thompson. And boy, did they have been. Uh, and we've got those three national titles. And the second thing they used to say, I distinctly remember they used to call her the Bionic Woman. Because it seems like every record that can ever be broken, she makes it, and she makes it look so easy. And she has so much humility about her. Uh, it's an honor to let her after they introduce. Um, so, on behalf of the school district, I want to share two things. First, we're happy to proclaim today, uh, both in the school district of Philadelphia, the eighth largest school district in the country, and here at Morrell Downs High School, as Coach Don, Don Staley Denny. Let's give him a round of applause. And then, Coach, before I finish my speech, uh, we want to certainly hope you accept our true gratitude for your life of service and inspiration that took you from Temple University, uh, University of uh, Virginia, all the way to South Carolina, the Olympics. And so you are a legend and a person, a beacon of hope for people, young people around the world, for what ordinary people can do that's absolutely extraordinary. Finally, as a two-time graduate of the University of North Carolina coach, uh, I'll have to tell you that uh, we also think about the world's best men's basketball player coming out of that university. Uh, some of you know who Michael Jordan. Uh, and, 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 and I'm very clear that when we think about the best women's athletic anywhere in basketball, uh, who knows Coach Don Staley, and when we think about the best basketball coach anywhere, male or female, for this country, it's Coach Don Staley. And, and so, in that spirit, that as a University of North Carolina graduate, the only time I read was in the University of North Carolina is when you're going to go on the Congratulations. <laughs> All right. So I know that the presence of our state representative, Dr. Seattle, will come up here for a minute. Come on, Bernie. Say something. So one thing you know if you've been in North Philly for five minutes, you get in trouble if you don't talk to Senator Kitchen first. You get in real trouble. So good morning. Good morning. Folks, I just want to say what you said when you won yet again. We serve an unbelievable God. Who does unbelievable things. Who moves mountains and takes people to heights that they probably would have never conceived. And your example, and your faith, and your never forgetting from whence you came, is such a testament to, I think, what North Philly instills in you. When you're from North Philly, you can't, you can't help but tell anybody where you go. There you go. But I did not know the damn thing about how to not embarrass myself on the court. I know my chief of staff is like, you shouldn't say that. But listen, just, you got to know your limitations. 
And so what I can do is be a really good fan. I'm a really good fan. I support all of you who are deeply athletic. And so I support you. I'm a big fan of you. And thank you so much for always coming back to North Philly. God bless you. Thank you so much. All right.
the best they can in the the chief definitely managed to get the right until he's done with our people. Good morning, everyone. I bring you greetings on behalf of Mayor Chagall Parker, just like myself, a North Philly girl. Yeah. And so we thank you to extend for everything that you've done for the role model that you are to so many young men. And they can just look at you with their beauty and know that it's all possible. We, we can't thank you enough for coming back to Philadelphia, always willing to come full circle and be what you are for all of our young people. You got a whole group of basketball players over there dying to get next to you. So just want to say thank you on your accomplishments. God bless you. All right, now there's a couple of special thanks that we're going to hear from the coach. I want special thanks to all of those who are elected officials that uh, contributed to help us out make this happen. Shout out to uh, Council Jeffrey Young, Council of the City Bad. Councilor Jimmy Thomas, Councilor Jim Murray, Representative Donald Bullock, Representative Malcolm uh, Representative Richard Parker, um, and Representative Miller Burgos, and so many others. But there is that the legislation is in session today. So well, I'm going to try not to get to come break these people that have been there. Hope it does it. But we do want you to know that everybody coach was. Uh, Wanted to be here. We got a special letter from Jen from the Philadelphia delegation uh, of the Senate and House. So we thank you so much for everything you've done. We also have the Dobbins Alumni Association, Karen yeah. Archer. Yeah. Dobbins Alumni Association, I always call my staff every day about this, but they call myself on every day about this. <laughs> So we, Dobbins Alumni Association, you and my mom was a part of the Dobbins Alumni Association. So, uh, we were very proud of you. Uh, and with no further ado, I, I present this song and introduce the others. The, a person who really needs no introduction, the legendary basketball champion and coach, Thorn Stanley! Okay. 
for all of her kids to be successful. She didn't spare the ride for sure. She had drafted my discipline conference. Um, I live more like her today than any other time in my life. And I, I have to preface that by saying, I didn't like my mother when I was growing up. I didn't like her because she was disciplined. I, I didn't like her because she had standards. She had high standards, high, high expectations for all of her, her, her kids. Um, and she never let us off the hook. And I, as a young person, you don't quite understand that until you get older. And then when you're responsible for other people, you appreciate it. I, I appreciate where I grew up. I appreciate the people around me who didn't let me fail. I appreciate the people around me who didn't allow me to get in trouble. You, you, need, you need those people in your life. God is was a big part of it. Um, I, I chose God as probably for, for the, not sure, the most conventional way of thinking about high school. I chose God as because it was a walk to school. I didn't, I didn't really want to go public transportation because um, you had to get up a little bit earlier than that. And if you miss it, if, you, if, you, if you're late to God, they take it very, very seriously. Um, but being 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 a Muslim, um, being a part of the alumni association, I, I don't miss a beat. This Muslim does a tremendous job. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing that goes on, this Muslim, I do open the checks because I did I did commit to something. I don't know what it was, but I, I committed to something. I can't tell Miss Munson no. Um, but thank you for the video from uh, our girls' basketball team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I, I, I often describe, I, I did describe this season as, as an uncommon favor yes. season. And I can equate that to my my career, like my life, has been full of uncommon favor from God. And people often, some people sitting here, they don't know what uncommon favor is. But I'm, I'm going to simplify. I am. Everybody can be able to relate to this. Here's how I simplify uncommon favor. And I have to go back to my parenting. It is. It is, it is, when you, when you were younger, your parents said, um, I can show you, then I can tell you. <laughs> That's what God said to me. Because last year this time, we lost in the final four. We lost in another team this season, and we lost in the final four, the same team that we beat this year for the national championship. <laughs> and, I, and I will say, that law still sticks with me, and I really don't understand the reason behind it until, until God said, I'm going to take you through the season. I'm taking you through the season. I'm going to take you the unlikeliest team. The unlikeliest. We lost pretty much everything from our team last year. He took this team all the way throughout the season, undefeated and winning the national championship. That is on top of favor. Yeah. And you, you have to also ask yourself, like, why? Why did God choose me? Because I think I, I do think I'm, I'm one that He shows favor to. Um, and I, I do I do believe a lot of that is the foundation of my mother forcing me to go to church. She forced me because I was the youngest of five. And she wasn't leaving me home by myself or with my older siblings. Um, I did take advantage of her doing those church, those long Sundays where there's like three services. 
two interventions. I, I asked her for money every time, and every time and she would give me, she would give me her wallet when, when she's in church because that's that's when she's her happiest um, and the most giving. So a lot of, a lot of preachers were handing out those those plates for you know contributions and donations. I was doing that to my mother. But I am, I am so thankful for everyone for coming. I'm so thankful uh, to be celebrated from from where I come from. Every step of the way that I that I achieve something, I've always got this, I've always got the, the the strength. Like being here today gives me strength to continue to do what I do. Gives me inspiration. Gives me aspiration. Um, give me, give me what, I, what I need to continue to, to be a dream worship for young people. That is, that is, that is what I dedicated my life to. Um, I've been blessed with everything that you can imagine. Um, as far as being a player and the culture, there's nothing more than I want is to give young people an opportunity to feel what I've been able to, to live, and that is uh, my passion for them and for, for basketball. Everybody's not fortunate, but for those who are fortunate to do something else, and I, and I say this, I'm going to say this to the young people here, um, it's one of my life models. I got it from the, the most unlikeliest place. I was part of two. <laughs> I was part of two was where kids and play, they were in college and they were partying. And one of the professors told them, you have to do what you don't want to do to get what you want. That's real simple. Like it, it applies to anything that you want to be successful. Everybody we got, I'm, I'm hoping everybody wants to go to college. Yes. Yeah, you should. You should. But everybody not like to get up and come to school or do the homework or pass the test. It's, it's work that comes with that. But if you set your mind to doing something, you're, you're going to do it. And I'll leave you with my last slide motto, and that is the disciplined person can do anything. Anything. And I do have to simplify that too because. If you're disciplined with something that's, that's negative to your life, you're going to be good at it. You don't want to be good at it. You don't be good at that. You want to be, you want to be disciplined with something that's positive, has a positive impact in your life, so you can be really good at it. So I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I do. It's not often. We don't cry no feeling, but that's what you bring out. That's what you bring out of me. So I appreciate the cry. Thank you. Let us all just bow our heads as we dismiss. Now, gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this woman of love, raised in a family of faith, and whom you have set as an example. We do ask that even this generation might get wisdom 
and in all their giving, they might give an understanding. We take authority over every enemy that would come against their dreams and their aspirations. Give them hope and strength and life in the days ahead. We do ask that you open doors for them, even as you have opened doors for God's children. Doors of success, doors of abundance, as only you can do. And now unto him who is able, he's able to keep you from falling, and then to present you faultless before his grace with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, on whom our faith and confidence is built. We thank you today. Now let your favor and your grace, your goodness and your mercy rest on this generation, children's children, and we will thank you all the days of our lives. And everybody put their hands together and said, it shall be so.
Donna is one of the most influential players in the history. Ms. Daly was also named to the WNBA Top 15. Additionally, she is a three-time Olympic gold medalist as a player, an Olympic gold medalist as a coach, and a two-time USA basketball female entry of the year. Now, therefore, the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania pays tribute to Ms. Daly upon her well-deserved recognition, acknowledges her investment of skill and effort in competing on the level which demands perfection, and it says best wishes for every future success and personal fulfillment. Lord, thank you for being an inspiration and a statement in our city. Congratulations. I see you working. 